Computer time coming at you live. Mastery Tao Yen. I wasn't going to do this, but let's just wrap it up. Steve, again, thank you for bringing the beers for Thai craft beers. I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to run these in order. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Last one. Let's just bang it out. Siam Wizen. So I tried the Passion Fruit Wizen. Now we're just doing the regular Wizen. Do you think it's going to be better? I don't have high hopes. 4% alcohol by volume. Cheers selection. Uh, uh, they talk a lot on these. The cheer selection... Sorry, Steve. Thank you for the beers. <laughs> the cheer selection range innovates Thai beer by combining internationally recognized brewing standards and signature Thai ingredients. So what's the signature Thai ingredient in this one? We wonder. In Siam Weizen beer, internationally sourced wheat, malt, and hops meet Thai lime! Lime! Lime? You put lime in your beer? How innovative! To create a giant wall of flavor brewed in the style of German wheat beer. The giant's mask. Oh, a giant wall. Giant mask. Oh, we get it. Oh, we get it. We get it so much. The giant's mask is an ancient Siamese symbol of power. Sometimes if you turn it towards other beers, you'll see them tremble in fear. Fuck off! Look upon my mask, ye mighty, in despair. Fuck off! Other beers will tremble in fear. Sorry. It's fucking horseshit. You know what sucks? Shout out to, uh... Hey. Matt got a little upset he didn't get a shout out in the first review. Shout out to Matt Cowan, the bureau chief. Hey, bud! Still needs to get down a beer review. Shout out also to my guy Rod Quinton. We're just doing the Aussies, yeah? Australians? Who else is Australian? Doesn't matter. Hey, we do one sip. I don't know why I'm pouring this much. I, I'm not gonna need it. I'm not gonna need it. One sip. We do one sip. We give it a score zero through ten. We try one a day until we try them all. Just wanted to finish it off. So it's a lime half of Eisen. Innovative. Doesn't really smell like lime. Doesn't really smell like much of anything. Pretty neutral. Maybe it'll be really good. Maybe it'll buck the trend and be really good. Cheer selection, we found out, is uh, fake craft beers brewed by uh, the people who make Heineken over there in Thailand. I'm not predisposed to enjoying it. One sip of Brando's Rules. Oh, there's a little bit of... Oh, if you put your nose right in it, you can smell a little bit of something. It's better than the passion fruit. Did I give the passion fruit a four? That was generous. I just matched the ABV. The passion fruit was bad. This one's fine. This one's up there with the with the rice berry lager. Did you see the rice berry review? Not much lime, uh, like a little, eh, a little bit on the on the finish. It's uh, it's a beer. It's definitely better than the. Oh, maybe it's better than the rice berry. Could I drink this? Am I actually gonna drink this? No. If you're at a bar and you really wanted a beer and that's the only beer they had, you would drink it. It's right there with the rice berry. It's a 4.9. It wants it wants to be a good beer. It really wants to be a good beer. It's just not. And that's Mark's <laughs> the conclusion of Steve Black Chronicles. We had some lows, and we had some more lows. But Steve, you were great. Thanks for bringing the beers back. Um, <laughs> and if, from what I understand from the comments by Matt, 
Steve, it doesn't sound like you're a big craft beer guy, so maybe I'll get you on some craft beers that I like. We'll try to do that. Uh, I'll come out to D7 sometime. Till that day, then. That's a review.